Right, we've been having that banging again. You know, it's a constant thing. Um, and it's been... One sec, let me just sort of legs, right? It's been, um, like, slowly grating on me. So I'm just going to go out now. I need to go out anyway for talk about the shadow of an eye. Um, right, that's my mobile set up done. So, in fact, I can't be asked carrying it at a minute. Right, so, over there, when we had um, quite a lot of activity, it was actually terrifying, you know, the stuff that happened. But it started off with, like, a shadow, like, walks down there and then back, but you, you notice it because you, you see the lights are disappearing, that's what you see. And... I've mentioned it to quite a few people in comments. That shadow isn't like our usual ones, as in, you know, the more like transparent type of thing. They look, they look like a figure, but they're like see-through, if you get me. But that, you know, that from overnight wasn't. It was like it looked like a solid mass, and if you remember. I can't remember how long ago it was. It's recent when I was stood in the, where was I? Like in the uh, dining room, let's say. I saw something like walk across the fence. Um, and I came out and, you know, I was stood here and like explaining it and stuff. Seeing, um, that in the last video I uploaded, it was pretty much the same thing I saw. Um, so I don't have a clue what, what it is, but the last one, the original one that I saw with my own eyes, that, that seemed to be on the fence, not like on the decking. And, you know, this one seemed to be like, I don't know, when you look at the footage it looks like it's like right along fence but obviously that's impossible because you know we've got that thingy there so you know you'd say would it have been about here like um about here but that wasn't out <clears throat> I'm going to try to make sure it's out as much as possible we've not had much rain today, there was a bit this afternoon. Um, yeah, so I really have no idea what that was, but I know for certain it's not our regular shadows. And we've been having so much, like I mentioned in the last one, even though I'd gone six days or something without uploading a video. Um, you know, we'd not had things like going on it out, like things moving or like weird stuff. But that back door banging has never, ever stopped. And it's not just the three anymore. It's like the multiple, you know, the thing you want. Um, but I didn't see that. Um, then it went crazy, obviously. Like, I'm sat on there. And then that starts going. Um and that proper, proper made me jump. I said to a few people at comments, like, my brain had forgot I'd got a bad back. But, in again, in the comments, someone said that there was someone kneeling on the floor in this part of it. So I'm just going to open it. I'm just going to open it now um, and show you how ridiculous that idea even is. <sighs> right, so that box is gone. That was um, dog food. 
And that is where, basically, I came in with camera and I looked round like that and look up. That's what's there. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, impossible. Yeah, you know, even if there were no bags there or, you know, shit in it, you just can't. Oh, shit. Like there's dust in my back in. Um. <clears throat> and that's what's just come out of the box. That giant dog food. Um. So yeah, that has happened, um, I think, once or twice before. But again, things like that are rare. And is it connected to the rock? I don't know. Like, people have suggested that I leave the door open, and I think it's a good idea. In the next week or two, I'm going to actually clear under there out temporarily because it's just a dumping ground, in it? And... Yeah, just see what happens, clear it out, leave the door open and, you know, see what happens. Then I fall asleep after watching a film and the attic, like, lifts up. Obviously, you've seen it, but I'm trying to explain that it it was almost like it was a trap. Um, like, you see the attic lift up and then it just, like, stays, you know, in that position or whatever position it's in. Um, then the alarm goes off. Obviously, I get up, turn the alarm off, realise I fell asleep on couch, and go upstairs, and then it comes crashing down. So my thinking was that like, it set the alarm off for get me up. Um, again, I don't think it wanted to hurt me, you know, because it can get that attic lid out of there. It has two, three times before. Once, I think it's hit me on head maybe twice. So I know if it wants to, it can, but um, I'm hearing whispering again. Police alarm. Um, so, yeah, last night was bliss, peaceful. Just go out and see what happens. I think if the noise carries on it back, I'm going to go out again with Alexa. Let's see. Let's go with it. Who killed your wife? You killed my wife. Who am I? What's my name? What is my name? You killed my wife. Tell me what my name is. Who am I speaking with? You killed my wife. Who am I speaking with? Tell me tell me your name, identify yourself. Identify yourself. Vlad. I can't remember the last time I had Vlad through. Why are you communicating with me? Why are you speaking on that device? Outside. Outside? 
You want me to go outside? Let me look. What do you want me to do? Brother. You've called me brother many times before. I've told you every single time I'm not your brother. Why are you communicating with me? And what Seven. You... Seven? Did the bangs on the back door come from inside the house or outside? Are they something else? She sleeps. She sleeps, so I'm assuming that it's going on about up, upstairs again. Who sleeps? Who's sleeping? I will kill you. You like, you like a baby. You've you've threatened that same thing for so long now. Yeah, here I am, sat here. So why are you lying? Why'd you lie, the lad? Anastasia, mine. You're welcome to Anastasia. I have no interest in any other person other than my wife, my living wife, who's upstairs in bed. How does that make you feel? Dragon. Dragon. You're endlessly searching for yours. I already know where mine is. If you wasn't so evil, and you just went to the light, you discover that your wife is probably waiting for you. Do you understand? I see you. Touch me then. Let me see you, if you can see me. Touch me. Right, that, my left hand, just got a cold, like, blast on it. Did you just touch my hand then? Waiting. Do it again, don't wait. Push my hands down. Like, push it down onto this, or down here. Is there anything I can do to make this stop? Please answer me. I control you. You don't control me. You never have. You may think you do. Please answer me question. Is there anything that I can do to help you to move on to the light and go, go and be with your loved ones? Or do you not believe you'll be granted a place in heaven? Are you scared? You understand. You understand. I understand that you're evil. I was getting like um, a cold blast at side of me then. Are you at the side of me? Are you over here? She died. Who died? If you're talking about your wife, if she died, that means she's in heaven with all the family. 
all the loved ones, the children, everybody, just waiting for you. Great height. Do you not want to be with your family, with Anastasia and with your children, your parents, everyone you've ever known or loved, everybody's just waiting for you. Please answer me. My family. My family. Sounds like, yes, all your family is there waiting for you. I promise you. I can bring people to help you. Do you want that? To be with your family? Mine cell row. Who's that? Mine ear cell row, I think it said. We've had that once before, I believe. Who is that name? Who's this cell row person? Who is... Who's mine here? Please answer me. Do you need help going to the light? I can pray for you. And if that's not enough, I can bring people who can help you. People that have been here in the past, they claim to have the ability to help you. But when they came, you stayed hidden. Just say yes. Just say yes on that device. And I will help you. Please respond. So I was getting a lot of, on this side, on my left side, I was getting, um, you know, cold sensations when I had my hand up. I got like a blast on my hand, and that generally means like an orbs hit you. Um, but then I just had a general, like, feeling of cold. Right, so that name, we've had that before. Once, I'm sure it was once, and... I've researched it and basically the mind blowing bit about that is that that I'm going to butcher it, minor Sal Raul or something like that, his mother was Anastasia um, and that was the first time that I was proper able to link you know, Vlad to this Anastasia person. I did, I'm sure I did a video about it. Um, it's wild stuff. It really is wild stuff. But I can't work out towards the end of that Alexa. That wasn't a proper communication session. That was it. 90% of the time just spewing out words that it wants for say. And maybe like towards the end i don't know if i were getting through then you know when it started going on about family and stuff like that and then you know said he if it is him said his son's name 
I don't know if that was a breakthrough or if it was just taking piss. Um, I think I think I'll um, try tomorrow. Um, you know, get a big list of questions down. 